We all have things around the house that need fixing. Unfortunately, we usually put them off, whether it be a jug out of the kitchen, the sole of your shoe or your favourite vase, even the kids' toys. It's good to have something that can fix them all. And if it saves you from replacing it, it's got to be money well spent. But a high-powered bonding glue doesn't just work on broken stuff. All this gluing has inspired me to create something completely new. And it's a DIY project you can try yourself. So I'm going to make a chess set. Why? Because 600 million people around the world play the game. And that many people can't be wrong. The first step is to start with the board. For that, I've just got some plywood and some vinyl that I picked up from the hardware store in black and white. I've got to cut 64 squares out of these, so I'll be doing 32 white and 32 black. And I'm just using a Stanley knife and a ruler to do it. Whew! Thank goodness that tedious job is over. So each square is 50 mil by 50 mil, and these are self-adhesive, so I've just got to peel the back off and I can stick it straight down to our board. You'll see on the board that I've marked the centre lines and I will be working from the centre out. All right, now for the pieces. A chess set needs 32 pieces made up of six different types. How do we make them? <laughs> With these, of course, nuts and bolts and other small bits of hardware. So the idea here is to glue the pieces together, but you don't want to use any ordinary glue because it can be brittle and crack easily. So I'm using Sally's Power Grip. It's great for uneven and porous surfaces and can fix a range of broken things. That's why it's a good glue to keep around the house. But I've got 32 pieces to make, so I better stop talking and start gluing. All right, I'm starting with the pawns, which is a washer, an upturned bolt, and a dome nut. And the great thing about this glue is it's flexible and shock absorbing, which is great because these pieces are going to get used a lot and it means they won't break. The pawns are the simplest piece. We need 16 of them. Rooks are made from hexagonal nuts on a bolt to look a little bit like a castle keep. We need four of them. We also need four knights. They use a hook diner bolt to give a horse head shape with extra nuts and washers. Then there's four bishops. Each consists of a cup head bolt, wing nut, nuts and washers. We're getting through them. Now we're ready for the big heads, the king and the queen. For that, I'm just using a couple of different types of diner bolts. For the crown, I'm going to stretch the top of the diner bolt out and then sit a star washer on top. And then for the rest of it, I'll be gluing washers and nuts, and that will just bulk it out and give it some height. What do you think? That's one good looking queen. I reckon the king will be happy with that. With all the pieces done, all that's left is painting. First, a coat of primer. Then, to distinguish each side, half becomes black and the other half silver. How cool and unique does this look? Now, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to find someone to challenge the master. Well, trust me, this game is going to be quick. I think it's only fitting that we do paper, scissors, rocks to see who goes first. <laughs> I think we're going to be here a while. <laughs> 